I have with me Duck Bridget Paget. I mean Package. He's back. He is the executive director of Vote Common Good and founder uh, and founding pastor of Solomon's Porch out of Minnesota. Minute after this Minnesota. Duh, welcome back. Jesse, I am so pleased to be back with you again. I don't know if you remember, but a few years ago, we had a great, great time together. Good That's, to see you. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming back. Um, are you still the pastor of Solomon's Porch? I'm not. Uh, I left that role about a year ago. Well, well, but, why did of, you leave? still part of the community. Why did you leave? You know, you know, I've been there 20 years, and it really felt like it was time for the community to have another person in the role that I'd been in for all that time. And so I was uh, proud to slide aside and to uh, let Nikki step in and to give leadership to this community. So You said Nikki? Nikki. And Nikki, a man or a woman? A woman. You let a woman take over a man's job? No, nah, no. Nah, she took over being the pastor. It's not that's, a man's job. That's a man's job. Now where I come from, my friend, that is not a man's job. That is an everybody's job. Would you ever let a woman be over you like that? Well, I don't think being a pastor is being over or being under. And yes, but I would totally let a woman be over me in, in any kind Beta. of authority. In any kind of authority. <laughs> and, it's, you know, because that's uh, that's how you share humanity. Because in Christ, there is no male or female. Jesse, you know that. Uh, and so we don't we don't play those games in the community of Jesus. And... Uh, so we don't we don't a, bind a woman, each other up into simple um, separations between male and female. We say everybody's called to be a leader. But that's not true, because you say it doesn't make it true. No, I know I'm saying it because it is true. I'm not making it true by saying it. It's I, not I'm saying it, it because I do believe it to be true. God did not create women to lead; He created them to follow. And the man came from God, and the woman well, came that from the. Make no sense. And the, and the woman came from the man. He created the woman from the man, and her job is to follow and not to lead. It's not in her nature. To, well, I don't believe I don't lead. believe that at all, and I don't know who told you that, but that isn't gospel truth, my friend Jesse. Uh, Did in the Christ, woman come no from the man? Or female. Did, well, Jesus came from Mary, my friend. So I don't know what you're talking about. Came from, but uh, in the in the Gospels of Jesus. Jesus is born of Mary, and um, in the in the Garden of Eden, they're both made in the image of God, male and female. So whatever story somebody told you about women being derivative from man and somehow that a male is not supposed to be led by a woman, that story isn't true in the Bible. That story isn't true in our day. That story has never been true, even though some people say Are you reading a gay Bible or something? No, I read the the. The normal Bible. I don't know. Do you have a gay one? It never must, seen a gay, I've like never a, seen. I've never seen a gay Bible. It's Jesse. all like a homosexual <laughs> Bible. But I, let I me ask. You let, let's go back to something you said. Yeah. Did God create the man in His image? Created in in God's image, He created them male and female. The Bible says. No, it no, doesn't say that. What, it doesn't say that. But let me well, ask yeah, you sure. again. Sure, it does. Let me ask you again. Did God create the man in His image? Yeah, absolutely, male and, and female. And then he once created he created them. the man, did he create the woman from the man? No, that's not the way the story is told at all. Oh, he the created... woman didn't come from Adam. No, they were both created. I, no, I, are you no. talking about the Book of Genesis from Stay the Bible? With me. Because that's that, that's what I'm talking about. I, I I'm Stay assuming you are too. I just want to make sure. Stay with me for a minute. Are you saying that the woman did not come, God did not create the woman from man? Are you saying he did not? That's right. Jesse, I'm going to read it okay. for you. I'm, I got it in front of me. Genesis are you 1, 27. That, so God created mankind uh, in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. The New International Version of the Bible. If you'd like me to read it from another version, I'd be glad to. So let me ask you this, just to have you on record. Are you, are you a pastor, right? Are you saying that God did not create the woman from the man? I'm saying God created male and female in the no, image No, that's of not God. what I'm asking you. Are you yeah, saying no, that no, the woman no, did didn't not God. Are you saying the woman did not God did not create the woman from the rib of the man? What what I'm saying is that women are not created in any way distinct from men in the eyes of God or should be in the eyes of humanity. 
That's what I'm saying. So, those, but you're not those, answering my question. I'm asking you, are you saying yes. that God did not create the woman from the real? That is the, what I'm saying. He well, did, are what, you what saying, I'm saying he did not do it? Uh, what I'm saying is that the from the rib, read that passage for me, Jesse. Pull that up and no, read no, it for No, no, no. I don't want to do no patches. I'm asking you. I'm just asking you a question. Are you saying God did not create the woman from the rib of the man? Jesse, that is a what? Uh, that is a question. I don't even understand what the question is. Uh, give me a yes or no. Are you saying no, that no, God no. did not no. create the woman? Should we move woman? on to something else? You're saying God did not create the woman from the rib of the man, right? That's right. Oh, hold on for me. Let me take a quick break. Do not hang up. Pastor Doug Paget, and he is the um, executive director of Vote Common Good and founding pastor of Solomon's Porch. Um, I wanted to talk to him about other things, too. And so the pastor is saying that, no, God did not create the woman from the man's rib. So apparently he doesn't believe that. The one thing I do want to clear up for you, too, uh, the, um, you said something about uh, Mary and Jesus, right? I forgot exactly how you put it. I do want you to know that Jesus came through Mary after God put him there to come through her. But that was in God's hands as well. Um, but Jesus I, was a human man, right? He was a son of God, yes. Yeah, but he, but he was a he was fully human, right? He was human, yes. Okay, but he was also so, so he's born of a woman. He also had his father's well, like you were born of a woman. I was born of a woman. Everyone I've ever met has been born of a woman. He also had so. his father's nature. But let me ask: I know that you yeah. have a Black Lives Matter sign right behind you, right? I do, right there. And why is that? Oh, I, I like the sign. And I like what the sign stands for, that it wants to remind me that I live in a society where very often we're trying to, we want to say that all lives matter, but we live in a way that makes it pretty apparent that a lot of black people's lives don't matter to all of us. You, and I want to be reminded that they do. Oh, so you didn't know that all lives matter before you saw a Black Lives Matter sign? No, I did. What I've recognized is that all lives matter, and we don't treat black lives like they matter, so we need and, to put a special emphasis on it. And that. why don't you treat black lives like they matter? Why you? Why is it that you do not treat black lives as they matter? Well, I, I, I want to, and, and I'm working why really you hard don't? to, and I'm trying to, but I, I live why, in a world in which Why I've is been, it that you don't? You, you particularly, I do. you don't well, treat black people alive like they matter. Because I think that deep inside of me is some is racial animus and racial frustration and racial fear. And You're afraid to treat that, blacks as right. A white person that I live in a way that I often think of my own race as if it's nothing, like it's neutral. And therefore, I don't always treat all people the way that I want to. So I want to remind myself that I live with biases inside my own thinking. What the? That cause me to say that some people matter and some people don't. And one of the ways that that happens in, in my life and in my society and in the world that I live in is that oftentimes black people are treated differently. And I don't want to treat them differently. And I know that I have in the past and I don't want to do it anymore in the future. So I want to remind myself that uh, I need to keep special emphasis on What caused you as a white man to treat blacks in the wrong way? Were you raised that way? I, I was. Yeah, I was raised so in a way you, that said that racial difference is something that we should uh, lean into and we should be sure that we're treating some people with more dignity and respect than others. And your parents some of that taught was subtle, you that? Some your of that parents was taught you that? And some of it was very outward. Did your parents teach you to hate parents, white people? Some I of mean, it came from society. And there's a lot of different ways duck. that people feel like they were really duck. leaning hard can into a society that said uh, that. You can hear me? That racial Duh. difference is something we should make a big deal out of. Yeah, your parents taught you to hate black people. Oh, that's not what I just said. That's you what you that said. You said that you, Doug Pratchett, a pastor, does no, not no. know did not know how to treat black people. That you treated no, what I said them was that, that you treated them in a biased way. Yeah. And so I'm mm -hmm. asking you, did your parents teach you that way, or you just naturally became that way? Well, it was both the my parents contribution to the teaching of my life, the rest of my society, my own contributions. And that's why I take seriously the work I have to do as a person to be sure that I deal with 
race in an open-eyed way and don't say something like race doesn't matter because it clearly matters. I mean, obviously you talk about it every day on your show. We know it matters. And I want to be really careful that I'm doing the work that I have to do, just like you're doing the work you have to do. We all have our work to do. And I'm one of those people that says, so how are you treating black people now? Culture that black how do you matter. treat the, the blacks now that you have decided that you hated them before you treat them in the wrong way? How are you uh, treating the blacks now? Well, I want to treat black people with both that recognition that they're an individual and that their cultural space, that the fact that being a black person carries with it a certain kind of pressure and a certain history. And I want to be very clear that never can I experience our society in some neutral way, that my race, every person's race is part of our interaction. Our gender is part of our interaction. Our income level is a part of our interaction. And so is our race. I was told as a kid, oh, be race neutral, be race blind treat everybody the same and don't if anything at all never acknowledge race you can acknowledge everything else about someone but not the race and i realized oh all that that was just a cover so for, what's uh, for wrong treating some people less well than treating other people. what's wrong with the blacks that they need to be treated special oh the, nothing wrong with them there's nothing so, wrong with me that i wasn't treating them as an equal that, that, so, that's what i'm getting at i'm not saying they have to be treated special i'm so saying you, that you're taking you're paying special attention to the blacks to make sure you treat them special right no i'm paying special that's a great question i'm paying special attention to be sure that i treat people in the way that they should be treated and my culture and my own choices taught me to treat black people as if they're not equal to everyone else and i um, want to be very attentive to that do you love black people i do you love white people i do do you believe that white people all white people are racist no i don't believe that all white people are racist that's what I black believe. lives matter believe well, I'm Black Lives Matter. I don't believe that. So but that's what Black that? Lives. So, did you know that but I am Black Lives Matter just as much as anybody else is? Like Black Lives Matter is not is not a, a certain set of people. It's anybody who claims it. So, no, that's not what Black Lives Matter. Did is. you know that Black Lives Matter was founded by a bunch of fat black radical lesbians who uh, hate the nuclear family? They hate God. They are trained to be Marxists. Did you know that it was, and they were worse than the KKK. Did you know it was founded by a bunch of fat, black, radical lesbians? Well, I do know who founded the phrase, and I do know who founded the organization, and I would not categorize them with those terms at all. So Even though I they call themselves is, In fact, that. I think that is rude. I think that is inaccurate, and I think it's intended to try to make them a threat. But Do you no, know I that they call, call themselves them that? that? That they are trained radicals? They are lesbians. Lesbians! And they are radical. Did you know that? Well, what you mean by radical, I think you're saying it in a derogatory way. Is that what you mean? Like it's a problem? No, I'm asking you, you did you know that they were radical? Fat black lesbians. Uh, I wouldn't use those terms to categorize them at all, Jesse. So you, did you know that? And, and, I would, a, and I would ask you not to as well, my friend, because I think you mean that in a way that's rude. And did I think you know you that they rude. see themselves that way? Because, Jesse, we know that uh, that the fruit of the Spirit says that we will not be rude. We know that um, that true love drives out rudeness. So I think you mean it a rude way. If I got you wrong, uh, uh, no, and I would say I, I know those those people well enough to know, no, they wouldn't use those terms. That you so you said to. that you are Black Lives Matter too? Sure. Are you, they give you some of that $90 million they received? <laughs> <laughs> what, did you chip in? How do you know they received $90 million? Have they given you some of that $90 million? No, no, no. They, they have not. Well, you not, must not be Black Lives Matter. You look pretty white to me. Do you love the, do you, do you, you don't think Black Lives Matter is only black people, do you? Do you love the Jews as well? I do. And do you cater to them in the same manner you cater to the blacks? They've been through a lot as well. Oh, yeah. Look, I, I, I absolutely, there is a whole level at which being aware of the way that Jewish people have been treated in our world and in the United States is something very apparent to me and very of mind. 
as are other groups. And look, Black Lives Matter doesn't mean other lives don't matter. Do who, you who treat would, who white, I ever make that argument, my friend? Do I can't you treat imagine white, somebody would make that argument. Do you treat white people as well as you treat the blacks? No. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working. It's it's hard. I I don't know if I don't know about you. Maybe, maybe you figured out how to treat everybody just the same and try to and have driven out all that. For me, I'm still working on it. And most everybody I know is. So what what I'm trying to do, and I'm sure what you're trying to do, because you wouldn't sit behind a microphone if you weren't trying to treat people well. At least I hope not. Uh, is we're trying to work out. You know how how do we live well with one another? How do we love one another? Jesus's great call that we love one another. So will you that call is not by- meant to be done without work, Jesse, and it's certainly not done by calling people names or making fun of people. What will you done, call what, by God? Will you call by great by, because level of, time? of connection to another person Bill, so duh, that you can live duh, well duh, with them hey, and with duh, yourself? Duh, as don't well waste as the time. Duh. Will you call waste by God? Time? How's that wasted time, my friend? Will you call by God? Yeah, I, I am called by God. Yes, and you will call by God, right? Yes. But you don't know how to treat everybody the same. Well, that's not a prerequisite for being called by God, Jesse. That's the whole point. The so reason every God human call- being is called every human being is called by God and every human being is called by God to love one another, not as a prerequisite, as a result. And do you love that's, every- that's the gospel? So do you love everybody? I am working so hard on loving my God, loving myself, loving my neighbor, and loving my enemy. Let me I just ask real fast, do you love, as of today, do you love all people? I am working on it. I, just, I sure hope so, but I'll tell you, it sure doesn't seem like it if you look at my life every single day, and I'm sure if you look at yeah, yours, give too. Give me a short. Well, I'm, a, I'm a beginner at love, Jesse, and I'm doing all that I can to As to a love preacher well. who's been called by God, as you say, as of this day, you don't love everybody. I'm what, what I'm telling you is I am working on loving everybody. Is that That's a yes or no? I can do. It's not a yes or no. It's I'm working on it. You, can you give me a third how choice, are, Jesse? How are you working on loving everybody? How do you work on loving? Well, I am doing it in my actions. I'm doing it in my intentions. I'm doing it in my beliefs. I'm how are you it doing it in your I'm action? I'm doing it with my hands. I'm doing it with my time. Well, don't do I'm it with your in hands. The way that I that I respect people. Hey, don't do it with your hands. All right. How do, <laughs> <laughs> I think you just made a sex joke, Jesse. That's a pretty good one. How do you? That's what you how do you? What are you doing to to in action to love everybody? Oh, it's it, it, with with most situations I find myself in. It's different than the one that came just before it. With you, I'm trying to be kind and respectful. With my wife, I'm trying to be more of a servant. With uh, another friend of mine, I'm trying to care for his needs. With another uh, person who I don't know, I'm trying to be sure that I'm caring for their emotional and physical sense of being. Because yeah, love because is a verb, of, yeah, Jesse. Love is, a verb. You, love, love is an, a noun or an adjective. Love is a thing you do, and you're doing that in all of our circumstances. How about you? How, 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 are you, how do you love people? By not hating. Well, that's how you love people, is to not hate? Yes. That's it? Yes. O- only, only an attitude. It, your, your love for somebody is it's, only It's not an attitude. An attitude. It's, your, it's your nature. Because if you call by God, you have what overcome you the nature. How, how do you do your love? If you have been called by God, you have overcome the nature yeah, of evil. How do you, is, how do hold you on, do, hold on, I'm do answering do the question. Your love? I'm a- how, answering the question. Um, okay. If you are called by God, you have overcome the nature of evil, which is of Satan. And now you're of the nature of God, which is of love. And God dwells in you. You have no other choice but to love. It's but your how nature. do you do it? How do you do that love? By returning to the Father. No, but, for, uh, to the person. How do, you, how, how do you do your loving of another person? By returning to the Father and not hating. But uh, let me tell you this, because of time you came in late today, I would like to have you back, all right? I ain't coming late. <laughs> I was sitting here listening to your conversation oh, with, you just, nice, you were with ready. Solomon. With, with Solomon and then with the person you were talking about, Piote. You, know, I've been, I've been you were ready time. at the top of the hour? Ready at ten fifteen, right when I was supposed to be here. Oh, but I mean, you I've been weren't here. Looking forward to it all morning. But you weren't here at the top of the hour, right? That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. My, time, uh, okay. my my slotted time for my Jesse moment was ten fifteen Central Time. Oh, okay. So, so let me ask: here. What mm-hmm. is vote a common good? What is vote common good? Yeah, vote common good is an effort to call evangelical Christians, specifically, and Catholics, to do all that they can to stop the election of Donald Trump and to stop the election of people who support Donald Trump. 
because our faith calls us to love our neighbor more than we love our political party and to stop the, the insurrection that took place on January 6th and all the kinds of uh, actions that would follow from continuing to elect people. Do you love Donald, Donald Trump? Trump silk? I do. Did you want to stop the insurrection of Black Lives Matter when they committed a terrorist attack upon America during the summer, past summer? There was no terrorist attack by Black Lives Matter. In oh, the so the burning down of businesses and robbing and stealing and killing and raping, all that stuff wasn't a terrorist attack? First of all, Jesse, I'm in Minneapolis. I was literally on those streets. Wasn't that's a terrorist attack. That's happened in my town. And I'll tell you, I know who did it. They've been arrested by the FBI, prosecuted. And you know who they are? The Black Lives Matter. They're white supremacists. The no, Black they're Lives not. Matter. Look it up. So look let me look ask. Look at who the FBI arrested, Jesse, because the same people who performed the insurrection why do are the you same excuse... people that performed the lawlessness in Minneapolis. Why do There's you a lawlessness in the white supremacy narrative in this country, and it showed up on January 6th, and it has shown up every day in no the society. No such thing as white and supremacy. that's what we're trying to do to bring, to bring an end to it. It's no because such Christian thing as national supremacy. Christian so, nationalism is the great threat to the society. In fact, uh, the FBI what is director Christian just nationalism? yesterday I want called, to ask it, you. Duh, called duh. it hey, duh. domestic terrorism, Jesse. Domestic duh. terrorism. Like, we know what domestic terrorism is. Why are you speaking over me, Doug? I'm not. I'm just finishing the sentence, Jesse. Why are you talking so long, speaking so long, wasting time? I'm not wasting time. You asked me about what's going on. I so why do you dismiss the terrorist attack that Black Lives Matter brought up on this country, but you don't dismiss what the white guys did at the Capitol building? Well, that's what I was just answering you. I'm not dismissing the actions of violence that happened this summer. We know the people who were arrested for those in Minneapolis. They were the same people that attacked the Capitol building on January 6th. You're lying. So, I'm not lying. I'm telling You're you, look lying. at the FBI records of who's been arrested, who's been prosecuted. You're a liar, Doug. And it was the same people, Jesse. Yeah. I was in the streets of Minneapolis. You're I was lying. right there. And we know the people who, who did the crimes, and they've been prosecuted it for was it. Antifa, so I'm not lying at all. It was Antifa and Black Lives Matter. No, Jesse, it was not. And let me ask you this. What is Christian nationalism? Your organization, uh, so-called Christian leaders, is condemning something called Christian nationalism what is that yeah christian nationalism is the belief that the united states is fundamentally a christian nation and that its government should be led by christians and should extend christian privilege and extend christian teachings as our government amazing and that's something that this country has never accepted and the people and who i hope they the never accept yeah, I hope I hope so too. So we're doing all we can to try to drive that because out. Because you people who signed this letter and, and it looked like four hundred so called Christians signed it. Yeah, twenty five hundred. Uh, mm -hmm. You people are not of God. Satan is your daddy. No, that's not true. Yeah. No, y'all are evil. No, we're not. Because you lying and you're pretending that white nationalism exists and you're pre and, 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 and and if a Christian is a nationalist you act like it's wrong to love your country and be a Christian. You're supposed to love your country. You love God. How can you not love your country? No, absolutely. So all love you your people country. who sign this thing are evil. No, we're not evil. No, y'all are evil. We're not saying don't love your country. What we're saying is you love your country by making sure that Christian nationalists don't attack your capital. How are you going to make sure? Harm and but, don't continue to per perpetrate. But you're lying an because you're Christian pretending that Black Lives Matter is wonderful. And that white people who stand up are, are wrong. So are you're you lying. telling me that the people who attacked the Capitol are, were not wrong? It was wrong to attack the Capitol, but okay. both sides are wrong. Black Lives Matter is as evil as whomever set up the thing at the Capitol. Let, let, I want to bring not talk in Josh. About anybody else. I, I want to bring in sure. Josh because I'm running out of time. Uh, Josh is the first time caller out of New Jersey. Josh, welcome to the show. You're on with Doug Paget. No way. Thank you so much for taking my call. Yeah, go ahead. Real fast. All right, man. So um, one basic question. Do you consider yourself a monolith for all white people? Do I consider myself a monolith? Yes. Yes. You, you mean do I speak for all white people? Yes. Oh, no, no. I, I certainly don't speak for all white people. All right. So is every black person's action as an individual, is that – 
a monolith for all black people? Of course not. No, I wouldn't say that at all. All right, so would you consider some kid who gets pulled over and decides to get attitude with a cop this same type of person who would be born and grow up to become president? Uh, yes, I think kids who are pulled over and give attitude to police could grow up to be president. Did, did I hear All that? right. So there is equal opportunity in America. So these kids that find themselves in situations where they are shot by police, are they infinitely different based only on skin color? Because I'm clearly not you and I'm white. No, I don't think the reason that white kids are arrested by the police or why black kids are arrested by the police is only because of skin color. I will tell you that the percentage of black people who interact with the police is much higher Thank than you, white Josh. people. I got to run, Josh. Thank you. Let me ask this before we go. Um, you people who signed this letter, so-called Christian leaders of mm -hmm. evil, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. Pretended, we don't call ourselves Christian leaders of evil. Pretended to be from God, of God, and yet you're promoting evil because you're encouraging black people to be wrong. You're making them feel good about being wrong. And what you don't realize, when they completely turn America to South Africa, they will turn on you too. You're being cowardly thinking that you're getting away with something, and they will turn on you too because black people hate all white people. And just because you're calling yourself Black Lives Matter, they don't see you as Black Lives Matter. As long as you're licking their butts, they're going to pretend they see it that way. But there will yes, come a day. Sure I just heard you right. Did you say all black people hate white people? Not all, not all, not all, but most. They hate white people. Because you don't and hate white people, right? I don't. And, okay. and they're going to turn on you, I too. To be clear. Those, who, those white people who are kissing butts right now, they will turn on you. The moment you disagree with them or do something that they don't like, you will become their enemy. I, uh, Doug, tell the folks how to get to your site. I'm running out of time. I'm looking at yeah, the clock. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, come on, anytime. If we get on top of the hour. Uh, okay. VoteCommonGood.com. Right on. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesse. Okay. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.